I don't know if it's if it's the major uh, problem, but mm -hmm. uh, it is certainly a big problem that that we are trying to address, and we, I mean, as the scientific community, have been trying to address um, very extensively in the last decade. So it's uh, in a sense with the scientific research timeline, it's a relatively new field and it's the concept of disaster resilience. For uh, a very long time, engineers have uh, addressed the issue of our structures and our infrastructure systems to be able to withstand extreme events and to resist and don't collapse in case of uh, natural disasters or other extreme events. But the society started giving that for granted at a certain point and that's for more. They don't want just buildings to stand up, they want them to be functional. And if you look at the statistics from a social and economic point of view, the, the losses due to the immediate response deficiencies and the long-term uh, issues in the recovery are usually a lot more than the immediate losses um, due to the disaster directly. So civil engineers uh, started studying these type of problems and addressing not only the ability of uh, structures and infrastructure systems to withstand extreme events but also to recover effectively to full functionality and uh, it can be shown that the recovery of entire regions depend heavily on how well we do in the first days and months after extreme events. If we are able to restore the functionality of the infrastructure they will be able to go back to their jobs, they will be able to go back to their uh, houses. If we don't they, they, they will just uh, be displaced and if they are displaced for too long they will start a life somewhere else and so we will lose the entire region and this happened unfortunately. There are also examples of uh, uh, major disasters that were strictly connected to um, issues with the immediate response like the, the Fukushima power plant where we had uh, um, explosions of the nuclear reactors not directly due to the earthquake or the tsunami but due to the fact that the uh, power lines were not powering the cooling systems and this uh, caused overheating. So for all these problems uh, uh, we need new tools. We need a new approach to the way we study um, our cities, our communities, our infrastructure systems and uh, civil engineers all over the world have started trying to do this and it's a very exciting time for being in engineering because it's a uh, it's, uh, time of changes and uh, there are scientific communities uh, and uh, associations that are uh, founded and started every day on, on these new topics and uh, um, being part of this new movement, this new process that is somehow uh, bringing engineering to a new field. So it, it's really uh, exciting.